Well, to get to the bottom of this, the court has ordered a full forensic investigation on Mr. Weaver's cell phone, and we have those results. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Gregory Evans into the courtroom? Yes. How are you, Mr. Evans? I'm fine. Evans? Yourself, yes. Your Honor. Good, good to see good. you. All right. You performed a full forensic investigation on Mr. Weaver's cell phone. Is that correct? Yes, I did, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Evans, did you find any interesting communications between Mr. Weaver and women? Yes, I did. I found a fairly recent explicit picture that the defendant had deleted off his phone. And the picture is faceless, but it... Well, here. It speaks for itself. <laughs> oh. Uh, we are looking at a woman's uh, breasts. And this photo of a topless woman was found in Mr. Weaver's phone. <laughs> yes, it was. And it had been deleted? Yes, it had. Mr. Weaver, were those breasts on your phone that you deleted? <laughs> I don't... I don't feel like I recognize them. Okay. OK, well, Ron, would you please hand him that photograph? Yeah, because I don't have any, so that, I guess that wouldn't be mine. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So you recognize him now? I do. And whose breasts are those? Those are the plaintiffs. <laughs> OK. okay. Well, plaintiff, you sh can you show that to her, please? <laughs> oh, shoot. Never mind. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> so, okay, he's saved on that one. Thank you, Ms. Adcock. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Evans, did you find anything else in Mr. Weaver's phone that raised your suspicion? I did, Your Honor. I really did. As I said, I did a full forensics investigation of the defendant's phone. That includes anything he deleted, such as pictures, videos, and text messages. Okay. That's how I came up with this real racy conversation between Mr. Weaver and a woman. All right, this is from Tim. It says, you're sexy. I love you so much, sexy. She responds, I love it when you make love to me. It's very sensual, sexy, hot, and loving. And Mr. Weaver responds, you're so sexy. <laughs> okay. You recover this in Mr. Weaver's phone. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Weaver? I know exactly what that is. That's actually a conversation between me and the plaintiff. We use, we use several different cell phones, and sometimes if one phone is off and another one's on, we have to switch out, and we might have a lot of, of these conversations. I don't even use that word, such well. <laughs> I don't even know how to spell it. That's, that's, that's one of our con mine. conversations, that's word for word. That mine. sounds exactly like us. So, Ms. Akka, this is not you. You're not the woman who's shown in the text message. That's a no. How are you feeling? <sighs> Mr. Weaver, how was your fiance saved in your phone? Babies. Mr. Evans, this communication, was it with a woman named Babies? Yes, it was. <laughs> Is that what he calls you in your phone? Yeah. I never use the word sensual. I can't even say it or spell it. I'm not an idiot or stupid, but I'm, I just don't. I'm like, that's not my... You, you busted it out there, I, I mean. <laughs> All right. <laughs> to further 